Hello, Moto. Motorola invented the mobile phone. I've already done a video on these colossal nuggets. <laughs> But Motorola was serious business for the longest time. Like Nokia would steal some of their thunder late 90s into the thousands. That was until the Razer. Schwing. This is a perfect example of timeless design. It's never not looked good. Glowing blue backlight metal design. I wanted one of these so dang bad back then. And then you remember this came out in 2003. Like it's almost 20 years old. And uh, just like a quick reminder of just how old mini USB is, you companies out there can stop using it at any time. But Motorola were kings at this point and they got in touch with another big player, old man Apple, talking about combining a phone with iTunes music capabilities as Apple kind of knew that, you know, a music playing phone will ultimately wipe out the iPod. They were right. This was a huge deal, right, as a partnership because iTunes was the biggest online music store there was. So we have two absolutely titan-sized superpowers in technology joining their hands in strength to ultimately create the... Uh Rocker E1. And, and like, mate, you're gonna learn it's actually even worse than it looks. So like first the keynote for the first iTunes phone, right? That's how they sold it, right? And Papa Steve was transparently not that interested in it. You can tell by his opening enthusiasm. The iTunes phone. This is a phone that we have worked on with Motorola. It's called a Motorola Rocker, R-O-K-R. And it's a pretty cool phone. Pretty cool phone. And it, it's absolutely justified because this nugget could only hold 100 songs. That's it. <laughs> Like from modding iPods, learning that while you can stuff two terabytes into one, the limiting factor on how many songs it can hold is how much RAM it has. The amount of files it's able to keep track of. And considering this needed to be a phone, music player, camera, all that, I'm guessing that's why it was so low. So like to try and sell this thing, they lined it up against the easiest target, the then new iPod shuffle, and it still got its chassis kicked in by Nugget with no screen. It was very sad. <laughs> It, it even balked on stage. Thanks, bye. So I go there and I just resume my music right back to where it was. Well, I was supposed to resume my music right back to where it was. I hit the wrong button. But you can resume your music right back to where it was if you hit the right button. Then tech analysts at the time even noted that the music controls were hard to fathom and like the chassis, the whole phone thing is Motorola's design. All Apple did was the iTunes software. It's just a retooled Motorola E398 from last year. It, it was an old phone and like everyone knew this. Reviewers are even saying like, well, if you've used the E398, you've, you basically get the gist. So Motorola handled the physical side of it and just reheated left over. And you wonder why Steve wasn't exactly overwhelmed with excitement. Pretty cool phone. It transfers music via USB 1.1 at a time where wireless transfer was a thing. And then my favorite twist, when companies make junk but then spend huge amounts of money on crazy advertising campaigns. They Bootsy Collins, they quest love. It's actually insane how many celebrities they got in for these ads all at once. Like huge budget. Oh, and best bit, the drama. Motorola was actually upset about the keynote, mainly because Apple released something else during that keynote as well. Because this is the new iPod Nano. Oh, uh, you know, just the first ever Nano. <laughs> just that little dingus that literally made the audience sigh. <sighs> And uh, Motorola's like, oi, this is overshadowing our product. Like, Motorola, Apple isn't slowing down for you. <laughs> like, same way that this is timeless design, I reckon you can say the same about the Nano. And then in comparison, this is like reheated taco shells from two nights ago. Like, the CEO even said, screw the Nano, to hell with your groundbreaking design. Buy our clunky out-of-date nugget instead. Oh, uh, and uh, never mind that earlier that year, Sony released their first official Walkman phone, the W800i, which smashed this. And they hyped this thing all the way up to launch, like reading old forum posts where people were literally calling this the iPhone before the keynote review, and that they were sick of how much it kept being brought up and delayed a whole bunch. You have no idea how hard it was to get one of these. <laughs> Maybe you guys can find one, but here in Oz, like to, for someone to ship it to me, it was rough. This came in its box, and, the, and I think 
It's actually brand new. L look at this. I swear this is brand new. They give you a 512 megabyte card. How nice are you? I know there's a reminder of how old microSD is. Oh wow, look at this USB cable. Uh, deceased battery. I have put a new one in it and it did turn on. Oh jeez, yeah, you want to talk about like Apple's 30 pin dot. Like it was these days. <laughs> I mean, it's a nice cable. It actually looks like robbed from a server or something. Yeah, USB-C all the way. Oh, excellent. It's got its stink phones. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. I mean, everyone always rags on how bad the Apple uh, earbuds were, which they were, they were terrible. But you know, it's nice to see if anyone did any better. Guys, I think this is brand new. <laughs> Can you believe no one bought this? Stuff, stuff, whatever's, and the proof of the Apple collaboration. Thankfully, I don't need it. Boilerplate warranty information, bling blah. User information, isn't that called a manual? Okay, the Rocker Model E1. This isn't in English. I, you know, I, now I'm looking at this, it makes a lot of sense. Oh no, I can't read the the very important. I mean, it's a very colorful manual, actually, I gotta say. Like, this looks nice. Yeah, my dad had that exact one. <laughs> oh man, it's the manky Bluetooth answering whatever guy days and the official men well um i don't think i'm gonna get a lot of use out of this i don't i don't speak the language and for once it's not in every single language for once where i actually want that we can still and look and laugh at the pretty pictures it is devoid of pretty pictures our boy has a brand new bat brand new bat for our brand new boy i love that you can still buy them dazzle me dazzle me I'm not putting a SIM card in it. It thinks it's 2005, and I'm remembering how poorly the first ever color screens were. No, you're, you're not get you're not getting a SIM card out of me. Okay, after lots of rummaging, the the guy I've got lined up for the after show actually had an old SIM in it. We're gonna play with my nugget. Oh man, oh, he's worried there. All right, as long as it works, I don't care. <gasps> no, what? You piece of junk! Oh, you've got one in there! I'm getting mad now. I, I've... <laughs> I even put a modern sim in it. Right, and it's... <sighs> yes, it's just been five months. <laughs> I fussed and fiddled with it, and I couldn't figure it out, like, at all. And then it entered just the too hard pile, and... <laughs> It lost its place in the queue for other videos, and my, it genuinely sat for five months. And um, have a guess what the fix was. Turns out the original bat is a little bit thicker than the replacement bat. And I noticed that the SIM card doesn't have any clipping in or any sort of stuff like that. So basically, the, whatever millimeters worth less of bat that's in there was causing the SIM card to not sit directly on a tiny little piece of blue tack. And look at that, mate. We are in. Only problem is, it's in Le Franc. I don't speak Le Franc. Oh gosh, this takes me back so bad. I mean, before we go into iTunes, I mean, history. Come on, mate. Look. Give me. Oh, Java. Those were the days. Well, we've got two games. One of them's called Crazy. It better be absolutely nuts. Oh, English. Wow. I have gone into the settings and looked how to change it English. I put enough to. I don't care. About 2004, and that's it. Okay. Oh, it's a worms knockoff! <laughs> I wasn't expecting that! Can I aim up? I can't, it's. <laughs> Does it come back down? Worm style? Boy, does it. I had no idea there was a Worms knockoff for the original iPhone. <laughs> oh great, it's my go, my... No! Oh! This game does not handle good. I do not miss these days of mobile games. Well, that is very slow. <laughs> hey, you know what? That's one of the better games on this caliber of phone, right? Shows you how bad most games are. But what about safe? Oh. Oh, I see. Like, this isn't a game. Oh, th this is not a game. This is genuinely, like, a safe. <laughs> Oh, that's not, I thought it was going to be a safe cracker or something. It's like, oh, boo, boo, that old stuff, get out uh, Well, the big thing to do, mate, is to hook her up to old computer and see if she hooks up to iTunes. Because the iMac here is from 2007. It's right around this time. Just going to grab our incredible server grade cable here. Don't miss these connectors. Are you going to appear on the guy? 
You're not appearing on the guy. Oi. What? <laughs> it should just be plug and play. Oh, what's wrong? Oh, please. <laughs> oh gosh, I've been feeling with you for like an hour. Please, please. <laughs> there it is. Look, I'm looking at you. Why aren't you sinking? <laughs> okay. And now iTunes is dead. Genuine. It, it, it won't even anymore. All right. Oh my pucks up! I have genuinely had enough. Five months of jerking around for this thing. This thing is the oldest it's ever been. It's almost 20 years old. Who knows what's going on the inside of this thing. But I really do mean it that I've tried every single tutorial, every single anything. I've got vintage SD cards here that I've, I was putting into them, like in formatting. I've got other vintage computers, non-Macs with iTunes on it, like nothing. Nothing! <laughs> There's videos of people on YouTube that go blink, blink, and it works. Well. Mine doesn't! It just think it doesn't! The thing about these nuggets is that I have personal experience in one of these because an old mate of mine back in my school days had one. And here's the thing. This was my phone back in school days. Thank you. Look, look, look how quick it makes it like it's doing it. How awesome does this phone look? And this is one year older than this. Yeah, when my friend rolled up at school with this nugget, I was already sick of this nugget. <laughs> yes, this does have a headphone jack, so it is technically superior than modern iPhones, but it's a little crappy dingus idiot one, not even a full size. And the pretty lights on the side, well, mate, Nokia's have been doing that for the longest. And isn't it wild that literally like a year and a half later, the iPhone landed. Woof, we've taken off quick. So sorry I couldn't smash Scarlet Fire through this. And like, this is the only one I've personally been able to find. Nearly all of them for sale are coming from China and they're just known bootlegs. It's just where they come from. You know, the fact that I've got this in its box and basically brand new and mate, she still ain't working right. One last go, come on baby. One last go. <gasps> are you kidding me? No, nope, take it back. She's dead. Whatever, mate. Just, just give it up. Right at a point where Motorola were the kings and like teaming up with Apple who were just on their meteoric rise out of the gutters. And then, yeah, you just get this kind of <laughs> phoned in nonsense. He does a pun. People like the iTunes integration, but people didn't like the phone. And even as a kid, made fun of old mate who bought one of these because he just looked out at eight straight away. Just go, just die. 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 Bye. Steve Jobs was right. It was indeed pretty cool. <laughs> pretty cool phone. Well, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Huge thanks to my patrons, especially these stinky names right here because, mate, one day a month, I do extra videos. I do have garbage time, my, my second channel, and I've got my float plane drum stream when I throw symbols at the walls and just play along to memes. I just want to reiterate again that I'm so sorry. <laughs> I couldn't get a song playing out of this. I tried for five months, guys. Five months. <laughs> but as a thank you to all this for jumping in, especially all this time, it was like, thank you so much. We're going to be having a look at, boom. We're going to try and fire up this old razor, mate, because look, with iTunes, maybe one of these idiot things will actually hook up to this old Mac. That's the worst bit, is that this is even a vintage Mac and it still won't point no. So thanks so much, mate. I'll see you all next time. Just another day in the life of Frank. Isn't that right, Frank? This is because of your bad poo smells. Frank, please listen to me.